City, Fuzz. You know, Billy, I, I think we should wait until night. It's easier not to make mistakes in the daytime. We'll separate so they won't spot us so easily. Meet you at the hitch rack by the post office. But it looks like he'll be busy for a while. He's always busy with somebody else's business. Hey, you reckon he could be the Carberry, the uh, man we knew? We'll soon find out. He'd likely change his name after what he did. You know, Billy, we're taking on a job smoking out of the city attorney. He's our man. It's got to be done. Hey, what do you two want? We'd like to see Mr. Carr. What about? Personal business? I don't reckon he'd be interested in... Hey, I know you two. What's going on here? Oh, we just had... Uh... Had some trouble with one of your men, Mr. Carberry. Carberry? My name's Carr. There must be some mistake. There is. A lot of mistakes. And you made them all. What'd you do with the deeds to our land you took to record, Carberry? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You used to sell land to people, then lead them into a trap and have them killed. You must have a lot of land by now. You've got the wrong man, I tell you. No, I haven't. You're still up to your same old tricks. Attacking a little fella that can't fight back. Is it all your idea or are you working for somebody? You've got to believe me. I'm not Carberry. Yes, you are. You sold land to our folks and then you had them killed. I know you, Carberry, because you came west with our wagon train. Get him up! Finally, use a gun. No, he shot himself. I might have known that. Help me search the place, bud. Working for King Brett, all right. What would you expect? Everybody else is but us. We almost did. None of them have. Look at this. Part of an endorsement signed by Andrew Carberry and made over to King Brett. That's one way for a man to build an empire. Maybe a man has, but... Hey, I'll bet you that the deeds of the land that our folks bought was in here. Hey, Marshal. They're Robert Carr's office. Who is? Carson and the guy with the whiskers. Come on, man. Looks like Brett's our man, Fuzz. Yeah, but where are we going to find him? He's not far. Right close by, then to his office. 
Well, I reckon I didn't hit him hard enough. Come on, Fuzz, out the back way. Outside, boys. They kill a car and beat it. Catch them before they get out of town. Fool me now, would you, Miss Helen? Get away from that door. Take it easy. Somebody in here. What do you want, Carson? You, Brett, and the land you stole by robbing and killing settlers years ago. It's all going back to its rightful owners. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You must be mad. You bet I am. Plenty. You just came from Carr's office. Andrew Carberry's office. Yeah, you remember when that was his name? Here's some deeds for land in Apache Mesa. They were never recorded. Car had them. What have they to do with me? Everything. Your name's on them, Brett. Yeah, you were working with him then, just like you are now. If you're trying to blackmail me, it won't work. I ain't gonna let you off that easy. I'm gonna blast. No, you won't. Stand back, boys. Put that gun down, Brett. Brett! Take care of him, please. The whole town's out there. You killed him. Now I'll never know. Come out and have your hands up or we'll smoke you out. Hmm. Now that you use a gun, looks like you're going to have plenty of work. We'll get something to bust this door down with. I'll take charge here, Brett. Yes, yes. Don't permit anyone to enter and leave this office. You in there, Carson? Can you hear me? Who are you? United States Marshal Riley. Open up. Open up, please. Is that man dead? Yes. Who killed him? I did. And Carr. Did you kill him too? Ah, uh, he shot himself. Too bad Dan Stewart didn't get word to me sooner. We might have prevented these killings. I knew we were going to run into trouble. That's why I had Stewart get in touch with you, Marshal. You want to tell me the cause for these shootings? Robbery and murder. Are you ready to prove that? Yes, sir. Come out in the other office, all of them. Look like gunmen to me. Make yourselves comfortable and let's hear your story. You mean you're not going to arrest them? Not right at this minute, ma'am. I want to hear what they've got to say before they have a chance to cook up something that isn't true. Well, it was quite a few years ago, Marshal. Fuzzy and I were youngsters. We were coming west with our folks in wagons. There were quite a few families and one day at noontime, why?
Can I go, Ma? I guess so, Billy. Whoa! Before he misses it. You want to help? Sure, we won't blow ourselves up again. No, I learned that from the last thing we tried. This time we'll put the powder in a bottle and we'll sift it so it'll be a hundred yards away when it goes out. What do you say? Gee, a bottle breaks off easy. Ah, it'll work. I guess you mean. Me and Pop know everything about guns and powder. You'll see. Stopping here for Carson. A couple of wagons need repairing. Be here for the night? Well, probably. Dad! Hello, son. <laughs> Another delay, I suppose. Oh, just a temporary one. That's what we've had all across the country. I'm going on. Alone. When you signed for this trip, you agreed to stay with this train until we reached to Patch Mason. Well, maybe I did. There ain't nobody gonna hold me to it. Well, if you leave the rest of us now, you forfeit the deed to the land you selected. You're ruling with a high and mighty hand. You're the only one that's kicking, Parsons. The way we look at it, a deal's a deal. That's yeah, right. Oh, right. I can just say that. Well, that might be all right for the rest of you folks, but it don't go for me. I want that deed to my land on Apache Mason, and I want it now. Put that gun down. Come any closer and I'll shoot. No, you don't. If you didn't shoot when you drew that gun, you won't. That's my dad. <laughs> You're gonna take a chance like that once too often. Well, we had fists before we had guns, and they're still more dependable. Someday, I'm afraid you're gonna learn different. Well, I hope not. Better make camp, folks. We'll be held up here a couple of days. All right. Uh, just a minute before you go. Now, you people are no more disappointed than I am in the delays that we've had in reaching Apache Mesa. That ain't going to do us no good. By the time we get there, if we do, the land will be filed on. Fortunately, our destination is known only to us. But if word has leaked out, I have a plan to prevent it hurting us. Well, well what is your plan? Now, you people all know me, and I hope, trust me, if it wasn't for you, Carberry, we wouldn't be here, so you must know we trust you. That's right, ain't it? Sure, it's right. Thanks, neighbors. Now, here's the plan I have in mind. We all know that one man can travel a lot faster than a wagon train. So if all of you turn over the deeds of your land to me, I'll go on ahead and record them. That's a good idea. I'm for it. How about the rest of you people? Know. Well, we got to talk it over. How does the idea strike you? Not bad at all. I'll canvass the folks in the other wagons. If they agree, I'll turn the deeds over to you. Fine. Hey, Billy, this is the short time to try out that thing I made. Good, come on. Hey, Billy, think we ought to take some guns? No, me and Pop are liking that. Oh, all right.
wasn't for Fuzzy and Billy, I'd have never gotten away from the Indians. And there were Indians. What makes you say that, Billy? Indians always point their toes in when they run and walk. And those men didn't. Yeah, then there must have been a couple of white renegades. That's the answer. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, you think you ought to go on alone? Why, sure. Only I'd keep this quiet. I wouldn't let the others know about it. There's no use upsetting them. That's right. Sure. That's well, right. I'll have everything for you when you get to the Macy. Goodbye. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. Well, I'm sorry things went wrong and you had to come all the way out here. The men you sent to meet me had attended the business. Instead of bothering a girl from the wagon train, this wouldn't have been necessary, Brett. Is that what they did? That's exactly what they did. Shorty. Come here. When I order a man to do a job, I expect him to do it. And if he doesn't, he's no further use to me. All right, get him out of here. Did you get the deeds? Every last one of them. Well, that's the last trip you're going to have to make with the settler. Are you glad? <laughs> you know how I hate traveling in wagons. These, together with the others we have, are the beginning of the greatest empire this country's ever seen. We've been working for it a long time. Be sure that Apache Mesa doesn't show on any of the records, though. Well, how's King City? Is that all right with you? Yeah, that's all right. Now, the wagons will be in Rocky Canyon for two days. We'll handle them while you take care of the legal end at the Capitol. All right, boys, we're riding.
trespasser. Let's get out of here. Well, Fuzzy and I were found by different parties of settlers. We didn't meet again until we ran into each other in town here a few weeks ago. Were any others saved? Well, we never heard of any if there were. What have you been doing all these years? Well, as soon as I was old enough, I started working the frontier and looking for the man responsible for killing our folks. I finally landed a trail boss job to deliver a herd of steers for Dan Stewart to the rail point, the other side of King City. When we got to Medicine Pass, we were stopped. Told there'd be a toll charge of ten dollars a head to go through. You see, the land belonged to King Brett. Well, there was a squabble and the herd stampeded. I decided there was something crooked about that toll charge. So I came on in town to have a talk with Brett. Looking for a man by the name of Brett. You know where I can find him? Uh, I'm a stranger. Just got in town myself. Supposed to be top man around these parts. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like the law coming down this way. Uh, probably he can tell you. Thanks. Yeah. Howdy, Marshal. Hello. Stranger, aren't you? Well, that all depends. On what? Uh, I've never seen you before, so you're a stranger, too, as far as I'm concerned. Well, in that case, I'll introduce myself. I'm Marshal Barker. I run this town for King Brett. Brett? I've got some business with him. Well, most people have, sooner or later. You know where I can find? Thanks. Howdy, ma'am. I'd like to see Mr. Brett. Who wants to see him? Bill Carson. What about? I had some trouble down at Medicine Pass with Brett's men. They wanted to charge me $10 a head for my steers to come on through. I'd like to talk to Mr. Brett about it. He can't see you now. What's the matter? Something wrong with his eyes? You don't understand. He's a very busy and important man. I don't know about the busy part, but I've heard how important he is. I'm beginning to believe it. I'm not to be disturbed, Miss Miller. Yes, sir. Brett? Yes. Please don't go in there. Why not? I told you I wasn't the... Well, who are you and what do you want? Bill Carson, trail boss for Dan Stewart. Want to get the lowdown on this toll charge of yours, Mr. Brett? You've already got it. Ten dollars a head. It only means one thing. No cattle passes through your property. That's right. How do you expect a man to get his stock to market? That's no worry of mine. It's gonna be. Stewart knows I'll buy his stock and holdings. He also knows what you pay. It'll be fair. To you? To him. I'm too busy to argue the matter. Besides, my lawyer's paid to handle those things. I suppose he's paid a fair price, too. Miss Miller! Yes, sir? Have the city marshal step in here. You don't have to bother. I've already met the man. He's also well paid. In fact, everybody that works for me is. I'm beginning to understand, Mr. Brett. You'll be hearing more from me. Attracting attention. My calling car is Bullet. They bring you to me and you take them away with you. At a price, of course. <laughs> Look them over. I'm telling you, you've never seen anything like it in your life. Just like any other shells. That's what you think, Marshal. These are high powered, center fire, never miss copper lead cartridges. <laughs> and you gents are just halfway shots and improve 100% by changing over to my line. No misfires, every shot dead center. Get yourselves loaded and healed with the best bullets was ever made. <laughs> I got them. You need them. You gotta show me. That's just what I was gonna do, neighbor. <laughs> Take your gun and throw a couple of shots into that hunk of wood. Go ahead.
Hey, you see that? Neither one of them went through. Now, I'll fire one shot into this hunk of wood, and if it go, go clean through, drinks are on the house. <laughs> I mean, on me. <laughs> Yeah, it went clear through, all right. Let me see that. Hey, will those shells do the same thing in my gun? Positively, providing your gun will stand the extra pressure. Well, why shouldn't it? Well, these bullets have got a new kind of powder in them. Blow an old gun wide open if it ain't in prime condition. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that gun. It looks like it's had plenty of hard use. Well, it has. It's gonna have plenty more. Give me one of those shells. Yeah, you better let me examine that gun of yours, neighbor. I'll get it. Well, all right. Better stand back, gents. You never can tell what's gonna happen. Make a fool out of me, will you? Well, I'll show you. Take it easy, mister. You better put that gun down. You get out of the way or I'll let you have it. No, you won't. You got no squawk coming. You were warned what might happen, but you wouldn't listen. I'm gonna shoot. A real killer shoots and then talks afterwards. like that once too often, stranger. Oh, I don't know. Fists were made before guns. And to my way of thinking, they're still more dependable. Hey. I once knew a boy whose dad said the very same words. It didn't work out. Bullets killed his dad and my father and... A lot of other good men. <laughs> you know, I could be that kid. My folks died the same way. Did you ever know a fellow by the name of Fuzzy Jones? Fuzzy? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he was a funny fellow, you know. He was always playing around with dynamite, bullets, and... Fuzzy? Billy? I'm glad to see you. How oh, have you been? Uh, hey, uh, 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 hey, what have you been doing all these years? Oh, uh, I guess the uh, same thing you have, Fuzz. Looking for the people that were responsible for all our trouble. I haven't had much luck so far. Me neither. I'm going to keep on trying. We'll keep on trying. Come on, Fuzz, let's get out of here. We've got a plenty to talk about. All right. Hey, wait a minute. I want to make one more demonstration before we get out of here. Make it quick. There ain't going to be any more shooting in here. I ain't going to do no shooting. Well, then what are you figuring on doing? Blasting. 
I'm going to show you the good. Look here. Any blasting you do, you do outside of town. It's all right. Ben, there's a clump of rocks just down the road here a bit. Meet me there. And I'll show you something that will pop your eyes right out of your head. <laughs> Come on, Billy. Give me a hand. invention of my own. I labored on it for years before I got it to working right. And I think it's one of the greatest explosives of modern times. In fact, it's more powerful than a hundred times its weight in black powder. You want to be careful with this stuff, Clark? What's the matter? You feel sick? Uh, brother, if that little bundle had ever hit the ground, none of us would be here now. You mean it would have exploded? Yep. You won't wrap it, Billy. I'm a little bit shaky. Uh, you keep it. What do you want me to do with it? Uh, just hold on to it. That little bottle has got a few grains of what I call the brass and gel. Show it to him, Billy. Oh, no, 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 we can do no, it, Billy. Okay, right there. What now? Uh, just heave it, just as far as you can. All right. Uh, hold it. Uh, you men ought to better take cover behind the rocks. <laughs> All right. That is power. Yeah, yeah. You want to order some? How would you like making that stuff for just one man? You mean Brett? Yeah, you'll take all you can turn out and pay you good wages. So well, maybe we can make a deal. I don't think you'd like working for him, Fuzz. Not until we can get together and compare notes, talk it over. Well, whatever you say. You know, Billy here is my partner, even though we haven't seen each other for years. <laughs> Come on, we got to get back to town. There's things to do. Uh, uh, well, you better act properly and uh, get some of my uh, cartridges, because if the other fellow starts filling a lead, it'll be too late. <laughs> well, you just remember one thing. You got to have a license before you can start selling stuff around here. Oh, in that case, then I'll be seeing you. Jones sell his ammunition in this part of the state. That's why I tried to get him to work for you. And if he won't, there's only one thing to do. And I think you know what that is. So that's what I've been up to. Now I'm peddling guns and ammunition. I'm always looking for a trace of them to kill our folks. Well, between the two of us, first, we covered a lot of ground without finding anything. You know, it's funny to me that uh, Patchy Mesa and uh, Andrew Carberry both disappeared into thin air. Yeah, the deal was probably cooked up from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Well, now, I feel better. We'll go on together just as soon as I get this steward affair straightened out, Fudge. Mm, that suits me. Want to ride out to the ranch with me? Why not? I might be able to do some business out there. <laughs> now, well, let's go. I've had enough. I'll take care of Carson and Jones. You forget about them. Billy! Billy, Carson! Hello. It's dangerous to be seen talking to you, so I'll be brief. What's the matter? You and Jones here made a mistake in refusing to work for King Brett. And unless you change your mind, you're in for a lot of trouble. I think we're in for trouble whether we work for him or not. I can't argue with you, but please think it over. I'm working for Stuart, Miss Helen. I'm going to stick with him. Yeah, and I'm sticking with the both of them. Is that final? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry.
What do you say, Fuzzy? Well, let's get out of here. Charlie, go find out who's doing that shooting and stop him. Looks like we got a friend up there somewhere. Yeah, have a little bit of help. I can't find them. Hey, keep them busy, Billy. I'll go pick them. Uh, thanks, ma'am, for helping us out. I have to overtake the marshal, but before I go, I want a promise from you. What kind of a promise? Your word that you'll work for King Brett. Is that why you helped us out? Yes. Well, under the circumstances, I don't see how we can refuse. That's how I figured. One of Brett's men is working for Stewart. He'll contact you. Well, that part of it's all right, but uh, why are you so anxious to have us working for him? Because I know you won't go through with it. And it may be that you'll learn something about Apache Mesa. Miss... Apache Mesa, she said. I wonder what she knows about Apache Mesa. 
probably find the answer to that at Stewart's Ranch. Come on. Helen Miller mentioned Apache Mesa. We were convinced we were on the right track at last. And remember, when Billy saw you throw in with Brett, he didn't say he quit you, Stuart. I know that, Fuzzy. Strange how she knew you were interested in a place of that name. Mm -hmm. That puzzles me, too. I've been in these parts since before King City was started. I never heard of it. How do you and Brett hit it off? We've been fighting through the courts for years over water rights I own. That's why I'm about broke and at the end of my rope. You ain't quitting now, eh? When I go down, I'll go down fighting. You won't go down. I hope not. What's your next move? Well, we don't know until Brett's man makes himself known to us. Anything you want me to do? Yes, there is. Fuzzy and I just don't know what we're going to run into. So if you'll arrange to have the... Uh... I understand you boys have taken on a new job. Yeah, bad news travels fast. What do you mean? Don't pay any attention to him. He's only kidding. Well, the hairy ape had better be. Hey, you can't Cut it out, Fuzz. You're supposed to give us orders. What are they? You got that blasting gelatin with you? I'm never without it. We're going up in the hills and do a little job. And we're leaving now. That kind of a job? And what about the money? Yeah, how much do we get? We're going to blow up Stuart's water system. And as for money, you'll be taken care of when we find out what you can do. What we can do? Why, well, I'll show you how powerful she is. Why, you uh, don't... Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He should happen to drop that gelatin while we'd all be blown sky high. You mean he carries that stuff around in his pocket? Yep. Yeah, and anybody gets tough with me don't live long. Well, if they won't, neither will you. <laughs> That's right. Well, a <laughs> dummy like you ever invented anything, I'll never know. Get your stuff together. We're leaving now. Here on to the job is walking distance. Hey, huh? grab this. Hey, for the love of mine! What are you so jumpy about? That fool's got enough blasting gelatin in those saddlebags to blow up a mountain. What? got us into this. How do we get out? We got to force him into that shack. Leave it to me. You know, if you know how to handle this blasting gelatin, there ain't nothing to be afraid of. I... Oh. Well, you be careful. Come on, get up. Put those bags down. Yeah, take it away from him. All right. Uh, no, you don't. Listen. Let me have this stuff, will you? No, this belongs to me, and I'm the only one who knows how I to use it. I said give it to me. I said no. You want to argue with me? Yeah, give it to me. Now, look, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm getting angry here. Give me that gelatin. I said you couldn't have it. I said, you want it. Look, yes, I would. I said just give it to me. Here it is. Okay, what? Huh? Go get the gelatin out of my bags. Go on, hurry. Get behind those rocks, quick. The 
You walked into a trap, fellas. Now come on out, one at a time with your hands up. What do you think you're doing? Cleaning up on Brett. He's had things his own way too long. Well, we ain't coming out. You come in and get us. All right. That's the way you want it. Buzz, knock that chimney down. Another fudge. We're only committing suicide staying here. You better give up, fellas. You haven't got a chance. What are you going to do with us if we do come out? Throw you in jail. You got five seconds to make up your mind. Here. Maybe you better open that door for him. We might as well go, Burke. Butts lawyer will take care of us. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right. We're coming out. Leave your guns behind. Find out what they're going to do? Yeah. The water system at Stewart's was to be blown up. You can't prove it. Our word's as good as yours. When Carr gets you in court, he'll make you look like a bunch of monkeys. What'd you say? I said in court, Dave Carr will make you look silly. Yeah? Who's this fella Carr? Brett's right-hand man. Been with him ever since the beginning of King City. Fuzz, looks like we stumbled on a clue we've been looking for. Mm, one sure way to find out. It sure is. Take these men over to Stewart's and hold them. Fuzzy and I are going into town. Come on, Fuzz. All right, let's go. You know the rest, Marshal. The deeds and records we found in Carr's office will prove everything I've said. There's no doubt of it at all. Brett and Carr sure had me fooled. I'll round up the men they brought into town and lock That's them up. That's being done right this minute, Barker. Put them with the others. Why, what do you mean? You're I... going to face the charges Carr and Brett would have faced had they lived. Take him out. You know, you sort of threw me, Miss Helen, when you mentioned Apache Mesa. How did you know about it? My older sister and her husband came across country in the same wagon train you did. When years passed and we didn't hear from him, I decided to sit out and look for them. Why did you come to King City? A map I found among the things she left at home. But I couldn't prove anything without these deeds and records. Are you staying in town, Billy? You bet we are. We're going to stay here and see that the bulk this land belongs to gets. Would you like to help us, Miss Helen? I'd be glad to. 